watching TV. What's the first thing you think of when you think of a hero? When I think of a hero, I think of Superman. He dinks. <laughs> Superman is my hero. Her name is Denise Kong. She's my hero, and I call her that, and that's why she's the first thing that comes to my mind. Fire, fire. Yeah. Spider-Man, Superman, Batman. Spider-Man. Yeah. Taylor. Kobe. Well now, wasn't that interesting? Ten of the twelve people named a male hero. Two of them named a female hero. Why is that? Why do they so quickly associate a hero with a guy? <laughs> It all started with the word hero. Hero. It begins with the word he. And he is used for whom? Um, boys? Exactly. As if hero is not already dominated by men, the word itself is screening males only. Female heroes have to use the letter S to make sheroes to womanize this concept. And you know what else I noticed? The names for the female superheroes tend to just be a count of the original male hero name. Yeah, it is. For example, She-Hulk vs. Hulk, Spider-Girl vs. Spider-Man, Supergirl vs. Superman, isn't that kind of weird? Yeah. All they did was just add the word she in front of it and change the word man to girl. I guess we're not important enough to have our own superhero name, huh? Or to be something other than just a counter of an established male hero. Instead of using the word woman, why is it degraded to girl? To make it seem like we're not capable of kicking some serious butt? Yeah, I think so. But you know what? We can kick butt. You know Mulan, Kim Possible, Asian 99, and of course Wonder Woman? It's only a small handful of female heroes, but you can't really think of anyone else, right? Well, these people can't either. List as many male heroes as you can. Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, the whole Captain America, Wolverine. Male no heroes? <laughs> oh, you're in jail. <laughs> Chinese rapper Jin. Chinese <laughs> And, uh, off the top of my head, Superman, Batman. I just watched Watchmen, so I have to say Rorschach. I don't know if he. Oh, I guess he. Spider Man, of course. <laughs> All the Marvel people. The Hulk. You know what I'm saying? Superman! Spider Man! <laughs> daddy! <laughs> my daddy! <laughs> Um, the Hulk, Wolverine, Tupac, Eminem, Kobe, uh, Superman, of course, maybe. Hey. Um, Phil Jackson, <laughs> uh, David Stern. Yeah. Paul. <laughs> now list as many female heroes as you can. Catwoman. Wonder Woman. Uh. <laughs> Alright, Catwoman. Beyonce. <laughs> uh, Rihanna. <laughs> I don't like her around I don't like. Alright. Mommy. Superwoman. Catwoman. My mother. Interesting, right? When I asked the name of female superheroes, they couldn't really name any. Just like in UK Yahoo Answers. Yes, UK Yahoo Answers because no one in the US actually cared enough to ask such a question. Most people on UK Yahoo Answers could only name one, and that was Wonder Woman. Somewhat typical, isn't it? Wonder Woman is the one female superhero that we all know. Have you seen how Wonder Woman looks like? My goodies, my goodies, not my goodies. Yeah, that's her. She's barely wearing anything and I'm guessing that appeals to men since the Playboy cover of someone wearing a Wonder Woman costume showed up when I searched on Google Images. This is probably why Wonder Woman is the only female superhero we can think of. Because she appeals to men, she is much more well known. The female heroes that are less thought of include Mulan, Kim Possible, and Agent 99 from Get Smart. Why do you think that is? They are capable of doing more than just appeal to men. They do what men are usually portrayed to do. 
they save lives. But more importantly, they save lives of men. I guess it intimidates them when Mulan saves General Li Shang when he gets buried in the snow after an avalanche, or when Kim Possible is always saving Ron during their missions together. Or maybe even when Agent 99, who is a woman, <laughs> saves Agent 86, who is a man, in their missions together. Even though in the end, it is Agent 86 who saves Agent 99. This way, the gender role in being a hero is balanced. But anyway, is it because the male figure is put in need of rescue that makes the female hero not as favored? I would say so. That's probably why the female superheroes have to appeal to men. <coughs> Sexually. I ran across an article written by Josh Tyler. The, the title of the article is called, We Don't Need More Female Superheroes. Gee, just guess what that article is about. He writes that only men read about superheroes, that only men would want to be superheroes, that only men would watch movies with superheroes in them, and that is why female superheroes are lacking. How bogus is that? There are girls who are into this. How many girls do you know watch The Dark Knight? Spider-Man? Hellboy? And The Watchmen? How absurd and offensive. Well anyway, this Josh Tyler guy also claims that superhero movies should be aimed at men even when they include female superheroes because women are quote, just not interested. When he says this, he means make the female superheroes more sexual so that men are still interested. He says that it is mostly men who read superhero comics. And in superhero comic books, female superheroes are usually the one in need of rescuing. The one that whines and cries, and it's actually quite annoying, like Lori from the Watchmen graphic novel. But that's just the thing. It's a comic book. When it's a movie, it's obviously aimed at a wider range of people, not just men interested in comic books and the sexual persona of women in it. In Watchmen, the movie for example, Lori isn't wearing that basically see-through costume like she is in the graphic novel. She actually looks bad and could really kick someone's butt, am I right? If they appeal to more than just men, the movie will sell more. And to do that is to keep that superhero rescuing thing and apply it to both the men and women in it. Just like the balance between Agent 99 and Agent 86 in Get Smart. So why not? Why not have more female superheroes? There's a lot of female heroes out there that have their abilities underestimated or completely covered. Our society went from being sexist to having a female speaker of the house and presidential candidate. These are actual people and we are opening up to the idea that female can be strong in male dominated positions like in the government or military. So why stop and not have any female superheroes? So now think about it more and name some more female heroes. stand to fly I'm not that naive I'm just out to find the better part of me I'm more than a bird I'm more than a plane I'm more than some pretty face beside a train and it's not easy to be here 